Hey, there he is. It's Zachary Fowler at the Prep Show Denver. Hi, I'm Zachary Fowler, winner of Alone Season 3, and uh, now full-time YouTuber. And uh, just here at uh, Self-Reliance Expo, I did a speech earlier talking about my time out on Alone and how that uh, being self-reliant out there was uh, the key to my win. And uh, before I went out there, that's what I did at home. We had a yurt, we lived in the woods, we were moderately self-reliant, trying to grow as many vegetables, raising animals for our own meat and uh, keeping ourselves busy with uh, remodeling things to make what we needed so we didn't have to go to the store as often as possible. And, uh, and now, now I do uh, whatever I want to build, whenever I want to build it. And you can see me on Fowler's Makery Mischief on YouTube, making stuff all the time. You're a very resilient man. And what does it take as a mindset to start uh, an adventure, an event? I just, uh, what was it like Winnie the Pooh said, you just got to step out the door. You know, I wanted to be on the show. I saw it, and I put my the email in, sent it to them, and next thing I know, I'm, you know, two months later, I'm going to Patagonia. So, but a lot of people send emails. A lot of people want to be on TV. You actually lasted, my friend. Yeah. Why? Because you never give up. You never surrender. You just, you, you know, and when you hit that wall and you have a hard part, you know, you feel like you got to quit because you're just you're down and out or something like that. You just do the next thing. You don't worry about tomorrow. You don't worry about the next day. You don't worry about the fact that you don't have what you need right then. You just do the next thing. You need some firewood. You make some firewood. You need something to eat. You go find something to eat as best as you can. And just keep going forward. Don't give up. But at one point, there had to be some kind of psychological breakdown or something to overcome. With you, what was it? Uh, it was my hard day. I had a really bad day, you know, where everything was collapsing, and I realized it wasn't that uh, my situation was untenable. It was I had kind of mentally given up a little bit, and I said on the show, like, I'm waiting for everybody else to give up so I can go home. And the next morning, I realized what I was doing, and I said, you know what, I gotta put my whole heart into it. You just, all you have to do is put your whole heart into it. And for that last 14 days, I only had three fish, but I had a great time. And I, and I had fun with it, and I, 87 days, my wife shows up on day 87, says you won, you've out stubborn them all, you can go home. How does it feel to win half a million dollars? Half a million dollars, man. I guess, I, I hear your bank account transaction was kind of funny too, right? Yeah, yeah, the bank sent me a message saying, what the heck, you know, uh, do you know that you're supposed to be getting money? <laughs> uh, so that was pretty crazy. And then, uh, and then the surprise of how much you have to give to the government. Ooh. Check my YouTube out if you want to see that. Gotcha. Five things people never tell you about winning half a million dollars. <laughs> so now you got a bunch of stuff going on. Oh yeah, all kinds of stuff. What do we got on your table here? Uh, this is some of the stuff that I made out there in Patagonia. All the stuff, uh, over 200 sets of spoons and uh, chopsticks I made to keep myself busy. The things I made to make myself more comfortable out there. My slingshot I brought with me. You know, uh, Out of these items here, what, what were some of your most important ones that you made here? Uh, well, I was working on my shelter over the hill. I made a wood water bottle and uh, so I could bring water up over the hill. Um, and and uh, the rest of these, I didn't even use any of these spoons. The whole point of making all this stuff was to keep myself busy, making Christmas presents, my friends and family at home, and it kept myself, my, kept my hands busy, kept my mind busy, telling myself stories. and. And you know, it, the mental game is the big part of it. Being alone for 87 days is very, very hard. So you gotta keep your, keep your mind active. So whether you're in nature alone or in the world around us, the same type of mindsets have to be there, right? Exactly, it's keeping yourself busy, always keeping yourself busy. And uh, cause the more inactive you are, the more unhappy you end up being with yourself. You know, it's, it's, the longer you sit on the couch, the harder it is to get off, to get off the couch. Yeah, Zachary. You're awesome. You got some things coming up ahead of you. All kinds of stuff. YouTube, doing all kinds of great stuff there on Fowler's Makery Mischief and uh, Fowler'sMakeryMischief.com where we sell the slingshots and things like that. So you can get some cool stuff and get out there and, uh, and do your own fun stuff too and have adventures like me. So if you could check out my YouTube, we're uh, always busy doing fun stuff, shooting stuff out of the air with a slingshot or, or just playing with the family, having adventures.